Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to install a server icon on your 24 hour Minecraft server. So, first off, we do need to create the icon real quick, and there are a few things you need to note. You can do this in Photoshop, Paint, um, GIMP, any kind of photo editor you can do this with. That being said, I'm gonna use Photoshop. The only thing that we really need to care about here is uh, this right here. The width needs to be 64. And the height needs to be 64 as well. 64 by 64 gives us a very, very small square. We can zoom in like 800 times here and uh, 600 times and, and there you go. Now we're just going to add something to this real quick. It doesn't matter what it is. In this case, I'm just going to add in, I guess we'll go to pictures. We'll go to pictures of me and then go to right here. Grab this face render and uh, we will add this in as the server icon so if we go back here and wait what was that that was weird I want to control a C copy that paste it there there we go so if we make this very very small here and that's 1080p scaled down um, we'll be able to kind of position this move it over there we go boom that's our server icon right there so we go ahead and save that as a PNG, this is the second thing that we need to make sure we have right here, Photoshop PNG. So whether whatever program you're using, it'll have the ability to save it as a PNG, I promise. And it needs to be named server-icon. Server-icon saved as a .png file. Click enter, save, whatever. That'll save the photo. And now if we minimize, right here it is on our desktop. Server icon, then we can hit properties, right click properties, PNG image right there. So that is correct. Now we need to get FileZilla, okay? So if you don't have FileZilla downloaded already, if you don't have it downloaded, running all that stuff, that's not a thing that you have. Uh, go to the first thing in the description down below. It will take you off to FileZilla-Project.org where you can then click Download Client right there. You'll click that. It will then take you off to this where you can click that. And then you can download it from here after five seconds passed. That being said, I've already got it downloaded right here. So this is FileZilla. As soon as you open it up, this was what it will look like. Now, all we need to do is go over to the server we want to uh, to run here. In my case, that's my YouTube test stone server here. And uh, you can start the server or not. doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to leave it stopped for this. But let's go ahead and go into FTP file access and get our FTP information. Now, the IP is going to be blacked out here for you guys as well as the port username. Probably just the username and port are going to be blacked out for you guys so you guys can't uh, FTP into the server and mess things up. But what we want to do is just copy things basically into their corresponding locations here. So, host needs to go over into FileZilla and host right up here at the top. Username needs to be copied over, pasted in. Password, that's going to be whatever password you log into Multicraft with, which I'm going to have to get here in a second. And then port is going to go into port. So let me go ahead and get my Multicraft password and I will see you guys once I have it. Once you've got your Multicraft password in, you can go ahead and click Quick Connect. It will then connect, connect, sure, connect to your server right here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Really all this is is a bunch of rainbow stuff, rainbow server stuff. It's going to work nonetheless, whether you're on a rainbow server, a vanilla server, a bucket server, this will work. Once you've got the server open, you want to come over here and find server-icon.png. Right here it is. Click it. Drag it over into this, just the main file. As soon as you open up the FTP, drag it over in there to be the same as server properties, right, which are uh, located right... I saw them. I saw the server properties. It's going to be in that same folder as server.properties. Um, and once you've got that, you're good to go right there. So server properties, server-icon, you're good to go. Close out of this. We can go ahead and open up Minecraft. I will meet you guys in uh, the Minecraft uh, game on the main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, you need to add the server and not like direct connect. This time that won't work. What you actually need to do is add a server in here. And we can just add test server right here i'm gonna get the ip i'll enter the ip and we will click done it'll add and then you'll be able to see the server icon we also need to start the server so i'm gonna start the server real quick let's go back to servers here start the server i was gonna do a jump cut there and then i decided i wasn't so we're gonna go into the youtube test stone server hit start and grab the ip which is bam right there colon 
with the port number of Booyah. Click done. It's going to then add and look at that. There is our server icon added to our server. Uh, it's actually a rainbow server, but as I said, it'll work with vanilla and everything, I promise. Same exact method, no matter what kind of server you have, whether it's bucket, rainbow, doesn't matter. This will work. But uh, as you can see, there it is, the server icon we just created in Photoshop. So, bada bing, bada boom, that is how you can add a server icon to your Minecraft server, whether it's 1.8, doesn't matter. This works for every version of every kind of server property file software thing so yeah no need to worry about that but uh there you go that's how you can do it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already make awesome minecraft tutorials every single day of the week i'm nix games and i am out guys peace and there's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is Modtastic Episode 15. That is my weekly modded Minecraft series where I play the Tekken mod pack with over 109 mods in it. Yeah, it's it's quite insane. And uh, just have some fun with it. So go check that video out. If uh, you haven't seen it, I think you'll enjoy it. And on the right is how to install the flight mod in Minecraft 1.8. If you want to be able to fly in survival, control your sprint speed, control how far you jump, all that stuff, you want to install the flight mod. So go check out that mod right there. Also, check out my weekly vlogs bomb shooting schemes and up to every single week. Anyway guys, I'm Nick's Games and I'm out guys. Peace.